Congratulations on the win. I just want to ask you a question. Um, obviously, the first exchange in the fight there, you looked like you were in trouble. You looked like you were hurt. How badly hurt were you in that first round? I don't remember, to be honest. It was just a fight hit. <laughs> and, uh, you know, we adjust and uh, we get the second and third round. Okay, final one from me. You called out Mike Perry. Why the call out of Mike Perry? Because he's an idiot and uh, he's trying to sell a uh, wrong idea about the MMA. So I would like to put him in his place. Are you just disappointed with his recent actions? Obviously, that video that emerged. I, uh, trust me, I don't know anything about it. Okay. Just the media now, they told me that he's uh, get arrested until uh, another date. We don't know when he will come back. That's disappointing, but, you know, the FC will give me whoever is ready. Okay, appreciate the time in here. Take care. Thank you. Next, we have Gabriel Gonzalez from Cageside Press. Congratulations, Munir. A lot of people are talking about it from the broadcast that you got signed with the UFC after Dana White was shown your highlight video from a friend at his son's birthday party. Is yes, that how Adam you... Bobs. Say it again? It's Adam Bobs. I mean, just talk to me about that. Like, was did he know he was going to be there? Was that a plan for a long time? I mean, this is a very interesting way to get picked up by the world's biggest promotion. You know, uh, the UFC, it's been, uh, we didn't get the attention of the UFC here in the Arab region. You know, it's hard to get the attention of Matchmaker because, as you know, you know, all the big gym camp and the, uh, and the manager are based in the US and Europe, so it was very hard to get the, the attention of the matchmaker. But finally, now we get the, we get it done by Dana exactly himself when he saw my highlight reel. You know, you can go on YouTube and check it. You know, we put my name like uh, Mir Lazes highlight HD. You know, you will find it. It's, uh, uh, it's something like you cannot miss it. So when he saw it, he said, "Just I need him in the fight." So and that's exactly what happened. You yeah, so, uh, saw tonight what I bring at the table. I, uh, I hope I entertain everyone and, uh, you know, we came to fight, we came to bank, wherever it's go to the fight, but that's exactly, you know, what is about the MMA, to entertain people and, uh, you know, to give the show. That was a very exciting fight. You're obviously in Abu Dhabi. Was there a part of you that was very disappointed that your people and the fans could not be there to watch it? You know, it's crazy pandemic now with this COVID-19, everything, it's, um, it's different. As you know, we've been in quarantine, we've been tested four times, we walk my nose with the test and stuff, so we have to adapt. You know. This new life is just another challenge, another fight, so we have just to keep uh, ready to keep to get the opportunity, you know, whatever it's came, whatever it's came. So we are just, and, um, you know, we have to adapt in this life in some occasion, you know. So that's what happened exactly. We, um, I'm always like... Uh, I go sometimes to, to fight in other uh, territory. This uh, this time it was here in my home ground. And, uh, I'm so happy to entertain my people, even when they're watching on TV. So. The final question, I think you're going to have a lot of new fans. Is there anything you want the people to know about you now that we've been introduced to you through the UFC? Uh, just no, just uh, like uh, keep eye on me, you know, because the next one I will be more... Uh, in the beginning, I was little bit, you know, about the, the name of the UFC and stuff. But now I guess it's just uh, another fight, you know. I'll compose next time. It will be better. I'm still uh, young and uh, learning. So next time I'll be more calm, sharp, uh, smart, you know. Uh, yes, but uh, sometimes, you know, it's hard. You know, but, you know, in the fight, you want to get back in your routine. Uh, in your, uh, like, not used to, to, to hit back, you know. So I will try to adjust that. Uh, that point and uh, try to work more smart about some details in my camp. I won't go to tonight, but uh, overall I'm happy. Munir, congratulations. That was a fun fight. Enjoy the victory. And we will wrap things up for you with Jay Anderson of Cageside Press. Hey, thanks very much. Congratulations, Manir. When we talked before the fight, we talked about expectations, whether or not this would be a firefight. How close to what you expected did that turn out to be? Uh, it was firework, and that's exactly what I mean. people said since day one. You know, either you, you know, you kill me or I will kill you. You know, he came aggressive. He tried to finish my first round, but uh, you know, I have better uh, fitness time. I know it. And all my uh, teammates said, don't test your shin, don't test your shin against him. 
you know, but uh, you know, it is what it is. It's a fight, and I think uh, you know it's possible. So uh, I, I covered it properly my face, and uh, I throw some elbow, you know, to show him the what's up on here, and you can get clipped with any elbow. Uh, we are just a second and third round, you know. I jabbed his face all this uh, second and third round, and uh, you know, we took him down and made the second and third. And uh, after the fight, we saw you uh, go over to Dana White there. Did he say anything to you? Yeah, he was super confident. After the other fans, he told me, you know, keep eye on uh, Arab Mark. And last one for me, I mean, obviously someone's already asked about the Mike Perry call out. It looks like he's going to be gone for a little while with his legal troubles and may have some treatment that he needs to go into. Uh, is there any other uh, name in the division that would interest you? To be honest, just give me the toughest. I mean, like, uh, this is my, my just beginning. I would like to face some other striking. No, uh, I don't have a better name, to be honest, but anyone... Uh, I would sit with my team and uh, 